The Japanese are invading. The Japanese are invading. The Japanese are invading. Well, not exactly. All right. Rumors of Nakamura, AJ Styles, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson coming to WWE. That is the talk of the town. And I can tell you that when there is smoke, there is fire in this situation. When you go to make your WrestleRumble.com picks for Royal Rumble, you know, where you can win up to $500 for correctly predicting the Rumble entrance and conclusion, it would be a pretty safe pick to have AJ Styles somewhere in your 30-man roster. I don't expect to see Nakamura until after WrestleMania. Uh, got to wrap up business in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he's still got to get his legalities in order, uh, mainly uh, a work visa in the United States. So I'm holding out to say April would be prime time for him. As for Gallows and Carl Anderson, their debut could be really well received at an NXT Live TakeOver event. Their brand and name in NXT is where they are most valuable off the bat. Make no mistake about any of this. This is all about the WWE Network, period. If, if the WWE Network's not around, we're not talking about this. The network has just launched and expanded in Japan. What a simple ploy to get the Japanese audience subscribed. AJ Styles is fantastic in the ring, and that's where his value is going to be. This news is exciting, but I'm concerned for those who are thanking God, the sun, or whoever they pray to because they're that excited over this. I'm concerned for you because I think that you might set yourself up for expectations that are a little bit too high for what the situation is going to bring. It's similar to the same thing with Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is not going to be WWE World Champion. He may never even make it to the main, may never even make it to Raw or SmackDown. Styles is going to be on Raw and SmackDown, uh, and that's good for their depth, but he's 38. Beware what you are expecting from him in the long run. He's not going to be main eventing or carrying world title. If you think that's what you're going to get, you might want to rethink and reset yourself so you're not crying later on. Nakamura, another fantastic talent, but again, 35, and not since Yokozuna has a Japanese character really gotten the main event treatment or seriousness. Just saying. Gallows is smart. He's worked everywhere. He's just like a Matt Hardy or Tommy Dreamer. He's kept good relationships with everyone. WWE's wanted to have him back for a while. Fun fact, he was actually brought up in conversation to be part of the original Wyatt family back when. At 32, He's got a ton of experience. I mean, he was doing fake cane for WWE back when he was 22. He's got experience, which is a great thing. 32, size, he's still got some uh, miles left in him. Same thing with 35-year-old Carl Anderson. Tons of experience and a good locker room guy. I'm not sure what Gallows and Carl would be uh, billed as because WWE can't use the Bullet Club. That is owned by New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, that's that. But it's just a name. All right? WWE can create a new name, and quite frankly, those guys carry the look and the cool factor. Another fun fact, I was actually an honorary member of the Bullet Club for a night at a show back in February of 2014 managing them. And let me tell you, it's as cool as it looks. I'm still just trying to find the look. Trip Live Radio, we got much more coming up. 412-320-7925.